Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, coming at you from the frozen tundra. That is Minnesota right now. The polar vortex that is hitting everybody and it is terrible outside. <laughs> it's been below zero for I think a couple of weeks now. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think anybody is enjoying Mother Nature right now. <laughs> So this is fun. <laughs> um, while we're talking about things that aren't fun, I was like, I'm going to talk about adrenal fatigue because this is really important and sometimes not fun to talk about. Sometimes when I go over Dutch results um, with people, I have to have an adrenal fatigue conversation with people because it's important to understand where your body's really at, right? Um, and it's and it's not fun meaning like I hate delivering bad news. I hate being like, yeah, your adrenal suck, by the way. Pfft. Yeah, but so often when I chat with women, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm actually really glad to hear this because I have had this done, I've had my thyroid tested and everything was normal and I was feeling like, oh gosh, is this just in my head or like what's wrong with me type of thing, right? No, adrenal fatigue. So um, one of the things I love about Dutch test, and if you are um, joining us in the next 12 week challenge, which, oh, let me put the wait list here before I forget, um, you will be getting a Dutch test. Mm -hmm. It is included. <laughs> so you got to be on the wait list, which I just put that link there in the comments. On the wait list uh, is the only place you get the registration link um, to join us. So we'll do your Dutch test. And important things we look at are uh, different types of cortisol, metabolized cortisol and free cortisol. These are two different things that measure how much cortisol your body is making and how much it's actually using. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, two different markers. Yeah. 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 It's important to understand how your body is actually functioning. And that's one of the main things I teach women is how your body functions and then how to do the things nutritionally, exercise wise, lifestyle wise to actually match with your physiology. Game changer, right? And one of the things to really focus on because women were under so much stress, 2020 has been crazy. 2021, uh, <laughs> again, looking for it to be sunshine and rainbows, but so far still looking. <sighs> and I feel like I've seen this again and again and again um, recently with some of the Dutch results I've gone over is I'm like, yeah, you're having some adrenal issues. This is adrenal. This has been, you know, something that's been creeping up. Like I can tell how long your system's been in adrenal fatigue based on what I see. So what is adrenal fatigue? Again, this is sort of a blanket terminology and some people don't even like this term. Adrenal fatigue. Oh, that's technically not a blah, blah, blah. Okay. Listen, when your body's not functioning well, when your adrenals aren't functioning like they should, that's what we call it, right? It is what it is, right? There, your body's not producing and making or maintaining, storing the right amount of metabolized cortisol, cortisones, cortisols, all those things. It ain't working right. And as a result, you can wake up in the morning and feel like you can't even get out of bed. Or wake up in the morning and feel like you're in a fight or flight mode, like almost an anxiety attack in the morning. You can feel like your system just can't get going. No matter, you know, it's like if you have a gas can and you're like, gosh, I got to put gas in my car, right? I've got this gas can. Let me just put this in the tank. But you're like, oh shoot, I'm just going to dump it all over the place and hope some of it gets in the gas tank, right? Your body's not using it efficiently, all this stuff. You can like change the oil. You can put really, uh, fantastic windshield wiper fluid in the car. But if you don't have gas in the car, you ain't going anywhere. It's really, really important. So a lot of us expect our systems to have a metabolism that works or something like, oh, I should be doing this or I should be able to work out. I should be able to build muscle. I should be able to X, Y, and Z. Not if your cortisols are off, not if your adrenals aren't working right and not if you are exhausted all the time. If you are fatigued, exhausted all the time and you are trying to push your body to work out, mm, yeah, it's not gonna be happy. Almost as happy as me with it being like 12 below out right now. <sighs> you might be thinking, why do you live in Minnesota? Right now, I don't know. <laughs> so I can complain about it. Okay. Okay. This is what we do here. Uh -huh. Anyway, back to the adrenal fatigue. Back to talking about your adrenals. 
uh, that get really worn out. Now, what can onset adrenal fatigue? It can be a really stressful traumatic event. Um, I chatted with somebody who, honestly, it was a trauma event. You know, it was a, supposed to be something that was a really fun celebration, ended up being a trauma event in her life within the past year. Yep, adrenals are not working and functioning the way that they should then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes it super hard for your body to function, which means you're not going to get the right things out of it. Yeah. So this can take, right, this can take this long to recover. It can take at least six months, 12 months, sometimes longer, sometimes a year, two years for your body to come out of this mode. Yeah, it can take two years, five years to even fully onset. So you might be thinking, gosh, yeah, I was really stressed out like last month, but I'm doing okay now. Okay, sure, but if you're not doing the right things to maintain your stress levels and maintain your health, it, right, it can really, it can take years to onset. Um, I went through a really stressful event. This was about four and a half years ago, and it wasn't until... I don't know, uh, six months later at least, I had the full effect of stress onset in my system. And then it was like a full three years later that I started to have adrenal crashing. <sighs> so fun. No, not fun. Not fun. Not fun at all. <laughs> this is the not fun topic for today. <clears throat> right? So if you're thinking, gosh, this is right. So I'm expecting, I'm putting this out there right now because uh, I, I know that in a year or two years, I'm going to have a lot of adrenal fatigue that I'm going to be seeing from you guys because of a 20 to one day. Yes. Right. So just keep in mind, it's not something like, oh, last week was tough, but I feel like I'm okay this week or, you know, or yeah, it was really tough for me a little bit ago, but I feel like I'm fine now. It can sneak up on you. Yeah. I know. I know. So what do you do about it? What do you do about it? Well, one of the things uh, that we work on in the 12 week challenge is helping your system reset. And again, Dutch testing is fantastic because I get to see exactly what your system needs. It's, you know, this is like a general recommendation here of things you can start on or start working with that absolutely can help move you in the right direction. But without knowing exactly what your system's doing, it's hard to make an exact recommendation for you specifically to really catapult you in the right direction. First thing though, to really consider, and when you're looking at adrenal issues, is how much rest and sleep are you getting? And is it quality sleep? I track my sleep. I want to know how much REM I'm getting, how much deep sleep, sleep cycles, all of that. That matters. It matters. If you're getting eight hours of sleep, but you're only getting through like three sleep cycles because your sleep is so disrupted versus getting six and a half or seven hours, yet getting five sleep cycles, world of difference. A sleep cycle is like 60 to 90 minutes, by the way. So it's really important you're actually getting that restful sleep. That makes the biggest difference. Your body has this incredible ability to regenerate, to heal, to do all these fantastic things on its own. It just needs the opportunity. And sometimes with the stress and the overwhelm and the toxins and the garbage and the stuff that we're exposed to, it's hard. So the more things you can do to give your body the opportunity for it to function well on its own, the better. And sleep and rest is the number one thing here. Yes. Not pushing yourself too hard, right? Getting enough nutrient and fueling your system, getting enough proteins, getting enough healthy fats, getting enough carb. If you are not getting enough carb and you're having adrenal fatigue, you can actually extend that adrenal issue and make it worse. I see it all the time. All the time. Mm. Please do not do fasting unless you're doing very specific supported fasting. I, I have to tell women this all the time when I work with them. They'll be like, yeah, so we don't get to start doing fasting or you need to stop doing fasting. Especially if you've been doing fasting and you're like, it doesn't feel like it's doing anything and I still feel really exhausted. Stop doing fasting. I'm ne I need to calm down over here. I'm getting all fired up. Okay. Nutrients, getting enough fuel and nutrients. Um, gentle exercise. I say gentle because you don't need to be going to the gym for, uh, you know, three hours, pushing your body, getting on a treadmill, going all bananas. No, uh -uh. no, no. If you're in uh, the height of your adrenal fatigue, is this a really good time to start, uh, like training heavy for a marathon? No. Work with your body and what it really needs. Yeah. That makes a big difference. 
The other thing, and I put this on here, different expectations, right? So this is a time when essentially your body needs different things. And it's really hard because you can't see it, right? Somebody else looks at you, they'll be like, oh, you look okay, you seem okay. Hmm, I don't know what you're complaining about. Hmm, you look fine. You seem to get enough sleep, right? You seem to sleep a lot. I don't know why you say you're still tired. <laughs> Right? But you're like, no, I'm like really exhausted. I'm really exhausted. But I don't feel good. Yeah. So having a different expectation and being okay with the fact that your body is coming back from something. Your body is coming back from a really tough place, from essentially a hole. You dug yourself a hole, you gotta work your way out of it first. And then it's not gonna respond like other people that aren't having this issue. And to acknowledge that and say, Oh my God, my kids are playing a recorder right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. The demon whistle. It's the recorder, I don't. Anyway, <clears throat> it's making my cortisol go up. <laughs> um, but a different expectation. You're living in a different body. It's not gonna respond the same way that it used to. It's not gonna respond the same way that you want it to. And that's okay, right? Be okay with the, where your body's at because once you meet your body with where it's at, that's where you can take it from there and actually move forward. So often we try and ignore where we're at or we try and say, no, I'm going to make it have this happen. Oh, okay, sure, right? But it's the same thing. It's like, oh, I'm only eating 1,200 calories and I want to lose more weight, so I'm going to cut it down to 1,000 calories a day and all the... No, none of that actually works, especially if you're already... <laughs> fatigued, especially if you're already depleted, that doesn't actually lead you forward. And you're not acknowledging where your body's at and what it actually needs to move forward. So this is really key. Again, we go through this with your Dutch test and the 12 week challenge. So if you're not on the wait list, go in the show, show notes, go in the comments. I recorded a bunch of podcasts today. <laughs> go in the comments, get on the wait list. There's a lot of good info there, right? And our registration link is sent out on the 26th, which is next Friday, and that is your opportunity. We usually fill this 12 week in about uh, the first 24 hours. So that's why it's important to get on the wait list. If you have questions, you can always comment below. If you are not comfortable commenting, please feel free to message me separately. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you about what's going on and see if there's any guidance that you need or give you an option to get more information. All right, there was some comments I missed. Um, yeah. <laughs> Nicole, here's the recorder. Uh, they play the recorder because they Murray howls. So we have two puppies, for those of you that are not familiar. My husband thought it was a really good idea to get a second puppy. We have a seven month old Springer Spaniel. He loves Springers um, because Springers have been our puppies for a while. Seven month old um, that we got from the same breeder that we had from, from our other, our dog spot. Um, Murray. Murray. And then we have a, oh my gosh, is he 10 weeks now? I think he's about 10 weeks, a 10 week puppy. Gary, Murray and Gary. Gary is not so sure about the recorder, but Murray likes to howl along with it and sings with it. So that's the recorder. Mm -hmm. It's great, it's great, yes. Ooh, good question. Okay, is a 12 hour okay to fast for? Um, good question, Andrea, and that can depend. Um, technically, kind of regular eating window is a 12 hour eating window. So if you eat your first meal at 7 a.m., you'd be eating your last meal at 7 p.m., provided you get enough nutrients in throughout the day, your protein pacing, fueling your body, you're not tired, you can do some type of activity or workout, and you're making it through really well, that's totally fine. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, so that's a good question. Um, if you are even doing a 12 hour window, but you're not getting enough food in or you're waiting too long between meals, that's gonna throw off your body. Ooh, another thing that I should mention that's really fun with the adrenal issues is that you also have the um, insulin resistance issues, weight gain, weight loss resistance, <laughs> hand in hand with that. So if you want me to do a whole video on that piece of it with the adrenal fatigue, I totally can. I wanna talk about some things to kind of focus on though here, um, just for this one. So just let me know, you can put a comment below and I'll do that. Uh, Fitbit tracks my sleep, which is great, but I don't really understand all the sleep cycles. It grades me. <laughs> you got A plus sleep last night. You got C minus sleep last night. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, that's fine. I mean, however you're tracking it, that's good. It's also really important to realize you should be tracking your sleep with your hormone, hormonal cycle. Um, and, and it does impact barometric pressure, temperature, weather, stress, all these other factors, how early or late you eat, your nutrient values before you go to bed impact your sleep. Um, I just, you, they impact your blood sugar levels and so how well you sleep. So there's a whole thing with that. Again, if you want me to do a whole video on the sleep stuff and the nutrient timing for that, let me know. I, I totally can. Just let me know if that's something you guys want. A lot of the videos that I do are actually based off of info that you ask for. Um, so I'm more than happy to do that. I can't believe it's all cold around the North America. Northern British Columbia, Canada. You're used to it. That's still not fun though, right? freezing their spurs up in Texas. That's hilarious. I love it. Oh, that's good. Oh, Amy. Yes, this is me. Yes, Amy. Oh, yeah, it's tough. Um, oh, a whole video on that. Oh, Amy, tell me what video you want me to do. <laughs> yes, please. That would be cool. Tell me what you want me to do to be cool. <sighs> do I have a video about seed cycling? Ooh, I don't know that I do, but I can do one. I'm trying to be fancier with the social media things and I'm trying to do like Instagram reels. I'll make one for seed cycling. How about that? Super good time. Um, below freezing in the big easy. I know, right? I just can't with all this weather. Again, I, <laughs> like it's so cold. It's so cold. Oh, anyway, it's going to get warmer. They tell me next week. <sighs> it's, uh, I, uh, yeah. it's just all great. I have a heating blanket and a heat dish while I work and do things. Otherwise, I don't think I could make it. <laughs> yes, I'm from here. Yes, I grew up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. All right, so this is what I got for you for the adrenal fatigue stuff. Again, if you're not on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge, go in the comments, get on the wait list. If you want me to do a video, and for those of you who said, yes, do a video, let me know what you wanted me to do a video on because I think I threw out like four ideas. Mm. Or if you think of one, let me know. Um, other resources I have for you, of course, are my um, podcast, The Female Health Solution, my YouTube channel, uh, which is called Dr. Beth Westy, and then on my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. Lots of things for you to dive into and get started with. I hear from women all the time where they're like, oh yeah, I got this. Or I started doing this and I noticed it started to help. So I wanted to reach out and do more. Awesome. Do that. That's why I put out so much information. Again, I don't want it to be overwhelming, but just enough to kind of get you started to realize, oh, okay, this is a thing. I'm not crazy. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I need an audio book. <sighs> okay. I'll get on that. I don't know how to do an audiobook. Van insulin resistance. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Insulin resistance and adrenal fatigue. So there's blood sugars and how your body is burning things. Because it's not. It's not burning things when you're in adrenal fatigue. Let's see, I'm getting really fired up again. I need to calm down. All right. Too cold to be this fired up. Anyway. All right. That's what I got for you guys tonight. Stay warm. Stay bundled up. It's going to get warmer later. All right, let me know if you guys need anything else. Otherwise, let me know what other info you want. <laughs> and I will see you later. Bye.